my 2017 Polaris Slingshot. I added two more amps. The Singer 700 4 channel amps. So now I have two 1000 watt 5 channels and two 700 watt 4 channels. So the 4 channels, this one in particular, uh, this is on the passenger side. This drives my headrest pod 8 inch speakers. So I have four of these 150 watt RMS each. Right? So this uh, 700 watt amp, it is a uh, it's a 700 4 by 175 at 2 ohms where this one is 4 at 150 at 4 ohms but or I'm see, I'm sorry 2 ohms but this one with its fifth channel drives this subwoofer and I have another one on the driver's side which I put the seat back on um, and that drives the other subwoofer on the other side. So my two subwoofers are driven by one amp each. The fifth channel is 500 watts at 2 ohms RMS. And these are the P3's dual voice coil 4 ohm 10 inch speakers. I like the Rockford Fosgates as you can see. So this amp specifically runs these two 8 inch and then these 8 inches that are on the outside of each side. So that's what these two amps do. These are the 8 inch speakers and the passenger side subwoofer. On the other side I have the same exact amps configurations but the 1000 watt amp runs eight six and a half inch speakers, which is one, this one right here, two, three, four, five, six on both sides. Where the other amp runs these two DS18, you know, 3.8 inch uh, super speakers, and then these. Uh, hip pods six and a half. So the plan is I'm going to get a new uh, well I have it I just haven't put it in. I have a new uh, armrest pod which will have a DS18 super tweeter here which will be connected to that 700 watt amp and then I'm going to get new new uh, Kick panel pan panels, kick pan kick plate panels, where I'm going to have a six and a half and a 3.8 tweeter as well, DS18. So I'm going to replace this one with a M1. This is a factory speaker, and then uh, yeah, so that's what the 700 watt will do, and then that'll give me 24 speakers. So, pretty cool, huh?